Hi friends, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Saurav Chhabra. So in my previous video, uh, we showed you how we create a resource group from Terraform. So what I'll do now is, uh, in this video, we'll be discussing how to use variable to do the same things, right? So uh, let me just, uh, what okay, what we'll do is, first of all, we'll delete stuff. So let me just uh, delete and the only uh, what we can do is we can simply use the command apply destroy to destroy whatever we have created so this will destroy the resource group that we have just created and it'll 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 do that really fast so what you can do is you can uh, create infrastructure in, in azure review it destroy it update it Created again, review it, destroy it. So you can do it in click of the command, right? So you can just type the command apply and auto approve. It will create stuff. If you want to destroy, uh, it'll it'll destroy, right? So currently it's asking me to, um, you know, approve. So you can see here, uh, it, it it says that it'll do minus. It'll do it'll uh, destroy stuff. So what will destroy? It'll destroy the resource group that we have created. So I'll just I'll just type this yes, and it's gonna. Uh, remove the resource group from there let's just wait for a while I didn't uh, go through with the stuff yep so it's showing us that it's destroying still destroying so it is basically uh, removing whatever resources that we have created currently we have just created a one resource group so it's gonna delete that Yes, so uh, it is now uh, completed and what it says, it says one destroy, right? So it's zero added, zero changed, but one destroyed. So what it'll do is it'll remove your uh, resource group from here. I'll just refresh it and it will be gone. Yep. So now what we'll do is we we'll recreate the same thing, but while by using the variables. So I'll just show you how to use the variable. First of all, we have to declare the variable. And I'll just show you how to declare a variable. So what, what you do is you go into the variable file, type in variable, and then you type in what uh, variable um, name it would be, right? So currently we are talking about RG name, right? So RG name, and uh, we want to declare what it, what type it would be. So um, it has to be string. And if you want a description, you can have a description as well. So um, what you can do is, this is the name of the resource group. Okay. So now what we have done is, this is this is the uh, simple code to declare uh, a variable for RG name, right? So similarly, we have to create one for location as well. So let me just create one for location. Here we will say the name of a variable as location, and uh, you know, name, uh, this would be this is the location for the RG. This is the location for the RG creation, right? So so I'll just save it. And now what I need to do? So this is this is where we declare the variable uh, variable type and the name of the variable but we have not given the value right so this is where the terraform tfvar file comes into picture and we are here we have to declare the name what name do we want right so what we'll do is we'll just mention here what name do we want and what we want is mit um, broad west europe rg01 yeah, so this is how we do it and location location was West Europe and then we'll just save it we'll go back to the main.tf file so now what we have done is we have created a variable file we have uh, just created a variables uh, RG name and location and what we have told uh, is that it has to be a string and what it does it, it uh, the value of this particular location has to be a string right 
can be a boolean it can be a map uh, I'll, I'll talk about it later right so currently let's just focus on here and we can say it's a string right so yeah uh, I'll just save this again and this is where we declare we hard code the values of those variables right so this is this is why we created a terraform dot tfr file and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna update this by not taking the name from here and it will take the name from the tf wow, sorry the variable dot tf file so this is this is how we encode in here so what we'll do is dollar sign and then we create parenthesis and then in here we'll declare as var dot rg name that's it you just have to say that it will go to the variable file within this variable file it will go and find out the name of the variable right the variable name which is the rg name that would be the name for this resource group same thing we need to do in here for the location as well just we have to change the rg name to location so what it will do is it will go and find out tfr file see tfr files we have declared the name all right and we have not declared uh, the exact location so where we have declared hard coded it inside the tfr files so this is how it's done i'll just save this and and what i'll do is i'll just type output so this is this is where output comes into picture where we are declaring what the output would be output would be rg right a simple rg and what the R output uh, value would be so what i'd do is i'll run value and then it says um rg name right so what i do is i'll have so uh, the new rg is what we did right so we'll do var dot so the same thing what it will do is it will recall in there so what will do is star and then this then in this var dot rg name so now we will get an output right when we so earlier what we did whenever we destroyed something we created we planned something it was not giving an output so but now what we did was we created an output file so whenever we run this main.tf file it will run is through and it will give you an output which says the new rg is this so this is how we get the id and all that right and it, and I'll let you know how to use this particular output to to, to, to interrelate different different files right so yeah uh, i'll just save it i'll go back see everything is okay i'll just first of all let me just do a plan just to see if everything is okay Okay, I think I did a boo boo there. <laughs> Let me just go back and see Terraform file, right? So it's location, yeah. So this is where you get the you know the error message, and yeah, it's it's good that we got a simple error message to understand what all things can uh, you know go wrong. So it'll it'll basically give us that you know. Uh, the variable location was not declared right so the spelling was mistake right so it, it was, there was a mistake in about in the name and uh, so it gives us that you have not declared the value was undeclared variable so yeah. so i'll just run terraform plan and see what's gonna do yeah so you could see here it ran successfully and what it says is that output is this right rg is equal to the new rg is you know the name of the rg where we have declared the variable and what it'll do it do is it'll create the rg so let me just run this command terraform apply auto approve just to save time so it'll um, run and it'll give you a new resource group it's still running yeah, so it says that one to add right 
and it will perform the actions of creating it and the changes to output would be the new rgs this right so it'll it is still running and once we uh, get the success it says it's running right so it's it's apply complete now and when now we go back to the portal and see you now refresh it and we're gonna see uh, it, it usually takes some time and So let me go back and see what's the name of the RG. Yeah, so it's MIT. Yeah, and let's just go back in here, refresh it a few times. It should come. There is my RG. Yep, so it is there now. I think let me just write in here. MIT just to show you. Yep, so it's there. So this is how we use the variable uh, for doing the same thing that we did in our last video where we declared the name of the uh, RG inside the main file itself. But it's it's a good practice not to use the hard code values inside the main file and to declare each and every value outside the main file and create a variable where we declare the type of the variable and uh, we declare and the hard code value to be in the Terraform uh, .tf var files but usually what happens is in in real term scenario we create the tf var files and we uh, you know put in the uh, put, put in the hard code values there and uh, we run the command but what what happens if we are not doing it through pipeline and we are doing it manually and we want the intervention of the users and allow users to give uh, the input right and so we would be talking about that in, in our upcoming video thank you thank you very much